What's up everybody? This is Mike at Fab Fabs and uh, today I just wanted to show you how to drill a faucet hole. Um, it's hard for me to let other guys do the faucet hole because they have a tendency to like skip it across the top and that is a big pain. Um, you can make some wooden jigs to do it if you do it at the shop but it's easy enough for me to just drill it myself. You can get like the Fab King from Braxton and Bragg, and it's got a uh, mechanism where you can drill faucet holes and you don't have to worry about your guys skipping it. Um, once you get the hang of it, it's real simple, real easy. And if you follow this process, it, it usually works pretty good. I use the Terminator faucet hole bits. Um, for some reason, this one here, I think I've kind of burnt it up and it's not drilling as fast as it should. I've got an older one here. I'm gonna drill with it for this video to kind of show you. It don't have a lot of teeth on it, but they, you can normally drill with them until all the teeth are gone. You can see this one here's got a lot more teeth, but it, I don't know, I got it from Amazon instead of Braxton Bragg. Braxton Bragg quit carrying them, and it just don't cut as good as the other ones, in my opinion. Um, there's a bunch of different ones you can get. You always want to get an inch and three eighths bit for your standard faucet. So, you know, like these are 54, these are 61. Um, you can get thin wall, dry, wet. Um, you can get a, there's a bunch of different ones you can get from Braxton and Bragg. They carry all of them you'll ever need. And uh, to drill them, I just used a Makita grinder, which I use for pretty much everything. Um, if you are going to use a fab king or something, you'll want to put a board under it so you don't break your top when you're pushing down. But uh, I worked at another granite shop in the area, and a, a guy I worked with, you know, sometimes you have three or four faucet holes, and he was like measuring diagonal and from the back, and it's just made absolutely no sense. All I do is go from the lip, I go two inches back to the start of my hole, and that's what they get. If it's a four inch spread, you just put it on two, two inches that way, two inches that way is your four inch. If it's an eight inch spread, you put it on four, four, eight. Simple. If it's an oval, you go with the contour of the sink. So when you drill a faucet, some of these bits, like I said, are dry bits. Some of them are wet bits. I usually drill with them dry, and I'll use a little bit of water at the shop. Um, easy enough, especially if you're working with a marble. If you get it too hot, it's possible that it could crack the stone uh, from the heat. So I just try to take every precaution, I guess, and uh, use a little bit of water on it. I cannot get my knife back in my back. There we go. So, the main thing you wanna do when you drill a faucet hole is you wanna start at an angle. This is gonna prevent you from skipping across, okay? So we're gonna start at the angle and we're gonna drill down just a little bit here. And turn it on. I usually run it on about one, one and a half. Start at an angle. Then roll it up. Now since I've got it, that one's drilling like a champ. So I could have probably got away without using any water. But I'm gonna go ahead and squirt a little water in there just to keep it cool. You'll see my bit fizz when I hit it. Uh, it wasn't even that hot. So I'm gonna turn it back on. the water and makes like a mud and it's hard to get through it. So that pops it through. I usually take something and pack my bit. I get it going and pack it. Usually comes out. Alright. Now you want to get something and just wipe that off with.
Well, you got your inch and three eighths bit there, so it usually makes the hole just a little bit bigger. We don't have any cracks or anything. And I brought one of my uh, stock glosses out here to kind of show you. A lot of people are nervous, which this one's a little bit different. Um, this is your hole that goes on the end of your faucet here. It screws up in there. And then of course, the other end of it will set down into your uh, faucet hole there, um, one way or the other. I mainly just wanted to kind of show you that it would fit in there. Like I did the wrong end. But... There we go, that's how it goes. And then Sometimes they'll have your water lines and all that sticking through. Um, these don't have it in it yet. But that goes in there like so. You usually got a little bit of play so you can kind of center it up. And that's it. And then you put your little nut on the other side here. And if it's a little off to one side or the other, you can waller it out a little bit. But, but that's it. That's all there is to drill in the faucet hole. It usually takes, you know, two or three minutes to drill through, depending on your stone. Um, if the stone's real hard, like a quartzite or something, you may have to use a little more water and a little more time. But these Terminator drill bits, they're my hands down favorite. Um, for some reason that one from Amazon, it, it just don't seem as good as the other ones. I don't know if there's something different to them or what, but, um, I have used other brands like the Talon and, uh, those and they're just not very good. And I don't know why, but they just don't seem to be any good. Um, but that's it. I'm going to try to get a couple more in here and and they didn't have the faucets for you to drill at the shop and you've got three or four different vanity tops and they all get three holes, eight inch spread and you got to drill 16 holes on site. God almighty, you want the bit that can drill them the fastest and the easiest. So even if it's a little extra money, I'll pay it to have a good bit. So that's it guys, just get the inch and three eighths bit. I prefer to have some type of abrasive down the side of my bit. That way you don't shoot sparks and it cleans it out for you real good. Um, Makita grinder, start it at an angle and that's all you need to do. It is hard to teach new guys to do that and not skip it across. I've even had experienced guys skip it across. But since I opened this shop, this is my third year, I've never had an issue with a faucet hole when I drilled on myself. So, uh, Let's do that and you should be fine. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.